What's happening guys? I got this month's Smuggler's Bounty, which is the Jabba's Palace theme. Let's open it right up and get to it. So, I re remember seeing on Twitter that Funko was going crazy dropping hints on what is going to be in it and what pop is going to be in it. But let's start with the patch, which has Boosh, which is Leia in disguise. She's already had two pops. And then on the pin, we have here the Gamorrean Guard. Nice little piggy. He has had a pop of him. Then we'll open it up here. Show you guys what's inside. So first we have this card here. And it reveals that next Smuggler Bounty will be Death Star themed. I can only imagine what we're going to get from that. Um, I hope it's not another silly variant. Let's see. It lists down here what the other pops were here. So far, I think Bounty Hunters and Cantina were my favorite. Although, of course, Flock Chewy was pretty cool. And I know the TIE Fighter was exclusive only to that one, so that was really neat. But uh, otherwise, um, so far they've been okay. I could do without the mugs, that's for sure. I still have no idea what to do with the C-3PO mug. And it looks like we also got a mug here. Um, so, of course, the back of that card that I just pulled out it uh, spoils the contents of the box, so I'm not going to show that just yet. But I see that we did get another mug. Now, the thing I learned the hard way with the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy mug, those things aren't microwave safe. The, uh, the paint kind of all leached out when I put hot liquids in it and when I put it in the dishwasher. So watch out with what you use with that. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out Jabba. Let's see. Unfortunately, now I have three mugs that I don't really know what to do with. I wish they would kind of stop putting these in their boxes. I wonder what kind of feedback they've been getting. But anyway, so not really sure. I mean, it, it's well done. I will say that. It does look cool, but I'm not going to drink out of it. They actually finally have a do not microwave thing at the bottom here, which was not on there on the C-3PO one, so I don't know what, I don't know. But, it's cute nonetheless. And let's see what else we got here. We have a Mopies. This doesn't really say Mopies on it, does it? It says Funko, but it doesn't say Mopies. I assumed it was, but either way, Boba Fett, little plush, kinda cute. I dig this one. Let's see what we got next here. I see a hat in lieu of a shirt. Programmed for etiquette. Interesting. Pretty good quality here from what I'm seeing. Has a little symbol on the back. Has Pop and Star Wars on the bottom. Not bad. I can think of two friends that would really dig this. And probably leave the sticker on because that's how they roll. And last but not least is the Pop. And it is R2-D2. Jabba's Skiff. Meaning he's, this is when he was serving drinks while Luke and the gang were trying to avoid the, uh, going into the Sarlacc pit. Not bad, not bad. Let's, uh, let's open this up real quick. Do it this way. So he does have a stand that he barely fits on, which is interesting. Go ahead and take that off and get the packaging out of the way. So here he is. Looks very much like the original mold. They did kind of sandblast him a bit. So he does have some, uh, whatever you want to call that. He's dirtied up, which is nice to see. And the arms, it looks like that's basically what they replaced and then put on the, uh, this sort of tap on top of him, making him look like a keg. It's pretty nice. Um, I think that there's characters that we haven't seen at all that could have gotten it. I'm not sure if I've seen, have Max Rebo, any of those members been made? Probably not, but definitely correct me if I'm wrong. And there must be somebody else uh, that has not been made yet over another variant of a character we have. And, of course, this guy in particular, he's been recolored and called something else a bunch of different times just because the astromechs are 
all very similar in appearance. But anyway, uh, I'm just moving them around here. Um, I wonder if this is articulated. No, that's kind of it. Doesn't move. Anyway, guys, so let me just position all the goodies here. So we have our exclusive R2-D2 and Jabba Skiff serving drinks. Speaking of drinks, we have a mug with Jabba's mug on it. We have a Boba Fett plush. We have C-3PO on the hat. And then Boosh and Gamorrean Guard on the patch and pin. So that is this month's Smuggler's Bounty. Let me know what your thoughts were on it. I think that the theme wasn't really captured in this. Uh, probably one of the weaker boxes that they put out. But I'm interested to see what they do with Death Star. So for now, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, happy hunting.